If you have an acoustic guitar and you want to play live on stage or record yourself playing, you're going to have to use a pickup to amplify the sound. Now there are several ways of doing this and obviously at the end of the day you want what the audience hears to be what you hear, i.e. the natural sound of the guitar. The ways you can generally do this are is you can place microphones in front of the guitar, which will be the most natural way of doing it. You can use a sound hole pickup, you can use an under saddle transducer pickup, you can use a soundboard pickup and an internal mic or a combination of all of these. Now most electroacoustics today are stage ready and the vast majority will have an under saddle transducer pickup. But if, like me, you're not happy with the sound of that, what can you do? Well, today we're going to look at different ways of amplifying the sound of your acoustic. If we first look at microphones, in theory, mics are probably the best way to amplify the sound of your acoustic, but it's very difficult to achieve that perfect sound. You can get feedback and muddiness, and if you move, you move away from the sweet spot of the guitar. So pros, great natural sound. They'll produce the sound of your guitar as it is, and they can sound magic. Against that though, you have to weigh up the fact you've got to stand still. You can't leap around the stage. The mic also might pick up other instruments on stage with you. Feedback can be a big issue, particularly if you're going through a large PA system. So really they're not that practical. Now if we now look at under saddle transducers, most electroacoustics have one of these already installed. What it is, it's a small strip which goes underneath the saddle here, which picks up the vibration of the strings through the saddle. Typically made of strips of tiny peso crystals that sense vibrations, they transform these into an electrical signal. The good thing about these is they're quite resistant to feedback. They're invisible, you can't see it. Some of them have a natural sound, some don't. They tend to be awesome for finger style picking and also moderate strumming. But if you want to attack the guitar with a plectrum, it can give what you call a typical peso quack, which we'll try and demonstrate later. A lot of them rarely sound natural. You can tell that it's a, an artificial sound and they all need a preamp on the guitar with a battery to work. If we now look at sound hole pickups, these are very easy to install, two screws, slots in and that's it. And also you don't need any modification to your guitar. A big plus if you want to use a pickup for several guitars, you can put this in all your other guitars for example. They do produce a very realistic natural tone which is softer than you get with other forms of amplification. Against this, they don't look great but I don't mind actually the small black strip in there. You get no onboard controls, you don't need an amp. And some may sound more electric than most other acoustic guitar pickups. The one we have here today is the Fisherman Rare Earth Single Coil. And this has been carefully revoiced and fine-tuned to offer a smooth acoustic tone, which is warm and natural. And what we'll do now, we'll play through all three of these. First of all, using just the microphone, and then using the under saddle transducer, and then lastly, the sound hole pickup. First of all, we'll have a listen with just the microphone. Next, we'll have a listen to the sound hole pickup. Peso under saddle pickup. Mm -hmm. 
So all you have to do now is pick one, two or three and away you go. Thank you.